Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we just got a new release of Visual Studio Code. Yes, the Visual Studio Code March release has just happened. They are always like basically one month behind with their naming scheme. If you head on in here, go to Visual Studio Code, go to help, check for updates and you will find there is a brand new version available. Unless like me, you have already installed it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and quickly look at release notes. And you're gonna notice something here. And this is something I've been complaining about uh, for the last maybe dozen Visual Studio Code releases is every release we've had a little bit less and less and less added to Visual Studio Code and more about GitHub and AI integration. Well, this release, they, uh, they jumped the shark on that because basically everything, all of the aspects of this release, other than a couple of things down here at the very bottom, like fixes, etc., it's all about AI, GitHub integration, and so on. Now, I know that's the world where developer tools are going, so hey, what can you do? But there is one major new feature here. The new one here is agent mode. Agent mode is available in Visual Studio Code Stable, and you can enable it. Basically, come on in here, go to File, go to Preferences, go to Settings, and then go to Chat.Agent, like so. And then you'll find right here, Chat Agent Enabled, Turn it on like so. The other thing you're going to have to log into your GitHub account. Uh, and the nice thing here is there is now a free version available at least. Uh, so even if you are not paying anything, you can still use this new functionality. So what exactly is agent mode? Well, it enables you to do quite a few things. Basically, it is a pairs programmer is what they're calling it that works across your entire code base. If you want to go ahead and check it out, hit control shift and then I, it will bring up this over here. And then you have an option here. You can ask questions, uh, edit your question. But the key thing you want to do here is go down here to edit uh, agent mode. And once you're in agent mode, you can get it to do quite a few things. So ask to edit your files in agent mode. Copilot will automatically use multiple requests to pick files to edit, run terminal commands, and iterate on errors. It's powered by AI, so mistakes can and will happen. By the way, uh, l well, let's just do a quick example of, of what this is capable of. And it's actually capable of some things that we were basically never able to do before. So I could say create a new C sharp project uh, that displays hello world in the terminal. All right, so very simple example. But what you're going to notice is this is actually creating a project, something that we could not do before. You can also use agents to do things like uh, refactoring across your code, upgrading to a new framework, and so on. So this is going to basically say, go ahead, create it. So here, create a new workspace. It should be telling me uh, that I need to give it a folder, but I told it to automatically do this in the next time. So now it's not asking me that anymore. So here we are. Let's go ahead, create a new folder called agents like so, select an empty folder, and now it goes ahead and creates the project for us. And then I say, yep, continue doing what you were doing. And now it's gonna continue there. So created the, the workspace. Uh, now it's gonna say, okay, I need to create a new console project or a new .NET project. Go ahead and do this. I say, yep, go ahead and do that. So now it's going to run that. So you see agents are capable of doing multiple tasks back to back, and they're capable of uh, handling your entire you know project scope. It's a very simple example here, uh, but it's, uh, it finished like so. Uh, so now you've got here the code it generated, simple hello world. So now I could say, go away. And I could say, run my project like so. And then boom, it'll go ahead and run it. Down here you can see the end result. And now I could say, um, instead of saying hello world, say this is kind of neat even. I have to admit that. And let's see how well it does with that command. So we just basically, it should know how to do those edits. The edits are there, it has done them. So there is the suggestion, do you wish to keep it? And you can say, yes, you can. Now the thing about agents is they're actually integrated into MCP. So you can actually add these other um, extensions for new agent support. And that is all available here via this key right here. You can also add context to your search that can also be done with a shortcut of hash page. So you can see here. So if you're wanting to just do on files or usages or so on, all those are available that way. But if you want to go ahead and extend agent functionality, you can click this little guy right here and you're going to notice you have two options, the MCP server. So you can add a server a number of different ways like so, or what we can actually do is add an extension and then it will automatically bring you up over here to your language 
different model extensions. So if, for example, you wanted to have the console ninja, the various different, uh, these are all compatible extensions that extend the agent functionality. Uh, so it's just further integrations and so on. So there is um, an interface for creating your own, creating your own servers to work with and so on. So if you're interested in learning more about it, they do have documentation up. Um, so we head on over here, they've got their new introduction. So this was when it was in preview, kind of walks through how Copilot agent mode actually works, the uh, integration with the tools and how that hookup works there as well. And then of course we have the new release here. Uh, so all to all users and it now supports MCP, uh, MCP standing for model context, yeah, model context protocol. So this is basically the interface for interacting your large language model with the extension that you potentially wish to write. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have this new release of Visual Studio Code. Uh, so right here, this is Visual Studio Code, uh, the March release now available. Uh, again, this particular version, the big star of the show is this new agent mode. You can use it again for free with this integration. You see it's slowly going to tick up. I've got no idea how much the free version will work and I, like how how much you can get out of it. Uh, but I gotta admit, it, it is actually kind of cool. So I'm curious, what do you think? What do you think of the fact that all Visual Studio updates are basically all about Copilot and AI going forward? And what do you think of the addition of agent mode? Does it entice you? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.